Right, it says in the nearest car, the 1970 Yamaha 250. Yeah. Right, explain. Tell us a little bit more about your machine. Explain. <coughs> We're having a pint one night in a pub. A good friend of mine used to work for Mitsui. 69, 70s. He's got a good book of every bike he's ever worked on. Opens the page and there's a TZA 1969, 1970 with a double overhead cam twin cam, 254 stroke, it was to believed to be a prototype that they never went on to develop any further. I took some pictures, I got some race engines from Japan and gone from there. I built this in 2000, pumps out 47 brake horsepower and we've had 135 mile an hour out of it. It's bulletproof. Since then other people, um, Sammy Miller, Phil Morris, they've all built them, but this is absolutely bulletproof. I think you heard it last year when I was here. We take it to 16. Yeah, just get it warm and it's, uh, it's good for a good go. It's the same as Sons rode it um, in a parade. I think we were supposed to follow Sammy Miller, but being our Rob, he was an ex super bike rider, he got to Redgate and decided he knew a quick way around here. So he buggered off and ended up racing Colt Bollington's ex-works bike. And I always remember stood next to Phil Morris on the wall and I'm waving to my son like to back it off a bit. And he's giving me two fingers. <laughs> Phil Morris said it'll go that will. <laughs> so I just hope it gets home first. <laughs> but yeah, there's a cracking tool. It turns everybody's eyes wherever we go. And the sound of it, well, you'll hear that in a minute. I don't think it really matters what you're doing and where you're riding, it always ends up being competitive, always. Right, let's hear a running, mate, please.